Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see about apoptosis. This is a very easy and simple topic and it is also an important topic that you should know for your exam. They have asked many times in your exams also. Now let's see what is apoptosis. From this term you can derive the meaning that is apo. Apo means leaf. It is derived from the Latin word, okay, and tosis means falling off, okay. Apo means leaf and tosis means falling off. It is derived from the Latin word, okay. It means that the leaf falls off from the tree when it is dead, that is the dead leaves falls off from the tree when it is dead. That is the leaves falls off from the tree when it is dead. In the same way they have derived apoptosis. That is these are the cells which commits suicide. Okay. These are the cells which commits suicide. Alright. So, they defined apoptosis as the programmed cell death. Okay. Apoptosis means it is the programmed cell death. This is your definition. It means that is the cell die on its own. It just commits suicide. Okay, die on its own. That is the meaning of apoptosis. Now, who gave this term apoptosis? Walter Fleming. Okay, was the one who gave the term that is the programmed cell death. And this is a simple and easy topic. You just listen to the video. And I'll just tell you what and all should be there in your exam papers. What and all you should write in your exam papers. First you have to write what is the meaning that is the apoptosis. And then what is the definition of apoptosis. That is your programmed cell death. This is a very simple topic. Alright. Next will be your Next, you have to know what is the difference between apoptosis and necrosis. Okay. What is the difference? Both are cell death. Right. Apoptosis and necrosis. Both are your cell death. This is the cell death. I'll just tell you in simple terms which you could understand. That is, this is cell death by suicide and this is cell death by injury. Alright. Necrosis, it is the cell death by injury. If some trauma or injury happens, then there will be a cell death. That is known as necrosis. And if the cell die on its own, like a suicide, then it is known as apoptosis. Alright? After writing your definition of apoptosis, you just have to mention who gave the term the programmed cell death. And next you have to give some points of the difference between apoptosis and necrosis. It's just a five simple differences you should know. It is very easy. I'll just tell you. First one will be your, this apoptosis is the functional form of cell death. Okay, this is functional form of cell death. And this will be your accidental form. This is the accidental form of cell death. You already know right this is the programmed cell death and this will be your apoptosis will be your 
programmed cell death and necrosis will be your unprogrammed cell death. You can remember like this. And second what you have to know is this is the physiological condition. Okay. This is the physiological condition and this will be pathological condition. That is this happens due to any trauma or injury. Right. So this will be your pathological condition. And third one for this to happen it needs energy in the form of ATP also. Okay. Energy requirements. And for this no need for energy requirements. Okay. Then fourth point here there will be cell shrinkage and here there will be cell swelling. Okay. Here the here the cell, if this is a cell, suppose, here there will be cell shrinkage like this or somewhere. And if this is a cell, here there will be cell swelling, that is, it swells, okay, it inflames, okay. Fifth one will be your, no inflammation is found. No inflammation is followed by apoptosis. And here there will be inflammation followed by necrosis. Alright, this is simple terms. You just have to mention these five differences of apoptosis and necrosis. Alright. Then you have to know what is the need for this apoptosis to happen okay what is the need and why you should have this apoptosis that is because for the formation of fingers and toes of the fetus okay one will be your formation of this is the functional form okay this is a normal physiologic condition for the formation of your fingers and toes in fetus all right and also for the proper connection okay proper connection between neurons and brain if this apoptosis happens then only you'll have this normal conditions or else you will have some abnormality and also it is needed to destroy some cells infected with viruses or cancer cells if this apoptosis fails to happen, then there will be formation of wet feet in the fetus, right? Wet feet, that is, suppose you have a feet, okay, the toes. Okay, this, the second and the third toe will be like this. like this it is like a web okay there will be extra skin formed here it will be like a web that is known as the web feet if apoptosis fails to occur then there will be a web feet in the fetus and what if there is excess apoptosis okay if there is excess apoptosis then then it will lead to some neurodegenerative disease. Neurodegenerative disease. Alright. If there is deficient apoptosis. If there is deficient apoptosis. It, it might cause. Cancer and maybe autoimmunity. That is the autoimmunity. Okay. You just have to mention 
what happens if excess apoptosis happens and what happens if there is deficient apoptosis now finally we just have to see the mechanism of apoptosis okay just to see what are the changes that occurs what are the changes that occurs in apoptosis just listen carefully if this is your normal cell all right this is your normal cell it will lead to cell shrinkage okay there will be cell shrinkage and the chromatin condensation will be there okay the chromatin condensation and next what you'll have is your cell blebbing what is that it's your cell blebbing what is blebbing it's nothing but the protrusions of the cell membrane like this okay these are the protrusions of the cell membrane okay this is known as cell blebbing there will be lots and lots of protrusions and after that what you will have this cell blebbing after this there will be phagocytosis right okay phagocytosis that happens what is phagocytosis that is the engulfment of the bacteria and this causes mini apoptotic body formation okay this will be your apoptotic body formation and then there will be lysis of apoptotic bodies there will be a lysis of apoptotic bodies this is very simple only these six points you have to remember 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 that is there will be normal cell and then it causes the cell shrinkage and chromatin condensation then there will be cell blebbing that is the protrusions of the cell membrane and after that you know there will be phagocytosis and the apoptotic body formation and there will be lysis of apoptotic bodies these are the changes that occurs in apoptosis the cells let's just quickly recall what we have covered that is you first have to write the apoptosis and what is apo what is tosis you have to mention and you can also mention it as apoptosis as falling off or dropping off effect okay it is a falling off or dropping off effect and it is a programmed cell death and then you have to mention what is the difference between the apoptosis and necrosis difference between the apoptosis and necrosis the five simple points you have to mention and next what is the need for the apoptosis the normal physiological conditions you have to write finally you have to mention the changes that occurs in the apoptosis this six points you can just um, draw the diagram also it will fetch you more marks it will be very easy for you to remember also that's it about apoptosis channel if you have any queries leave in the comment section below thank you for watching thank you